I want content that makes you think. You've been hearing it is a driver shortage. This man disagrees. He has another reason. The pay is so bad. Totally different. Just, just, just honestly listen to what he's saying. And then we'll have a slight conversation about it after. Yeah, so there's many ways in which the federal government either is um, regulator- regulating the trucking industry in a sort of backwards fashion and or handing it out excessive amounts of taxpayer money. You may have heard for decades now about this truck driver shortage. That's not true, and it never has been. There are over 9 million people in the United States with CDL licenses. What the driver, the trucking industry has is a driver retention problem, and that problem is subsidized by the taxpayer by giveaways to many large trucking companies' very own in-house truck driving schools, which we call CDL mills, which keep throwing people at the business. Even Secretary of Transportation Pete Buttigieg has admitted that 300,000 truckers quit every year, and there's statistics showing that we produce 450,000 new CDLs every year. 300,000 truckers quit every year. They quit because the deal you're offering them sucks. And instead of you coming up with a deal that would make them happy, you implant 400,000 more. So really, there is no trucker shortage. That's just your game. Keep milling them out. That way you never have any negotiating power because there's always a scab in union terms that will take your place. Nobody ever asks where those drivers are going, why they leave, or where the money is coming from to continuously train so many people. Much of that money comes from state and federal funds. Gord, what does the Federal Motor Carrier Safety Administration do, or rather, what does it have to show for the what one billion dollar budget it has or stupid question this is why i say you see them people standing there they're, they're they're useless they're useless why didn't she just say why don't they just pay the truckers more so they stay but this is news people why don't they pay the truckers more so they stay that would be the first question i would ask i would ask well what would make the truckers stay in the first place and he would have said better pay but you're worrying about what the billion dollars the dot is getting it's like Come on. Or more? Yeah, the, the FMCSA's annual budget as of last year is $951 million, and they don't have very much to show for it. They have an interim leader. Their uh, last director, a lady named Robin Hutchison, stood down. And to give you an idea, me- members of the industry asked Robin Hutchison on a podcast if she would reconsider something called the ELD mandate, which came in in 2017, which forced surveillance technology on truckers with the aim to make the roads safer. Hmm. That mandate actually caused higher aggressive driving, Agreed. higher rates of accidents, and True. did exactly the opposite of it. So people in the industry said, hey, are you going to revisit this mandate? And she said, no. So we have this problem where we have this extremely expensive regulatory agency that's doing everything kind of like behind the ball. Instead of preventing right. low-quality, dangerous drivers from getting on the road in the first place, they're trying to use technology to fix a problem that's already gone down the road. I, listen, if I wasn't in the game for so long, I, I would have to totally agree. And part of those people that shouldn't be in the seat are the people you're seeing crying on TikTok. The truth is, if this was an industry that was paying what it was supposed to, instead of just turning over drivers, turning over drivers, she would have never been in that seat. Someone who wanted that position because the package was so good would have been in that seat. But you're just turning them over and spitting them out, turning over, spitting it out. And now you're getting down to the dirty bond ruin. You're getting down to that stuff that I don't want to say that you're getting down to the portion of the population that really don't want to be in the seat. I'm not going to say they're trash drivers. I'm not going to say that. Y'all discuss that in the comments. You get that portion of the people who just, oh, I'm just doing it to take a job. They were never interested in the industry at all. And then you're saying, oh, well, you know, accidents are up. Accidents are this. Well, we'll put cameras in there to watch them, these sucky people that didn't want to be there in the first place. When you could have just gave a package that made people stay. Before I hit the button, go to your phone, look up what a trucker in 1985 was equivalent of what he made a year was. Gord, if, if Elon and Vivek are going to take one thing out of that letter, what do you want them to take and put into their Doge plan? Right, yeah. Cut out this spending that's unnecessary. Let the industry fix its own problems. And- what he means by the industry fix its own problems is I can't keep drivers, so I will pay more. 
That is how the industry fixes its own problem. And stop regulating it from behind the ball on problems that already exist and regulate them before they start. Stop allowing so many people get into the business that shouldn't be, including so many illegal migrants. Mm. Whoa, hold the phone. I didn't say that. He said that. That that's we know I want to hear what he has to say though. Wait, stay on that gourd. Right. How right. many illegal migrants are estimated to be driving like operating under a CDL license in the United States? How many? Well, this this is the problem. We don't know because no one's ever actually looked into it. There's a number of different articles around. You you you'll find out about like a truck accident and maybe it'll say somewhere, you know, this person was actually from you know, Venezuela or El Salvador or maybe the Ukraine, and nobody ever asked the question how they got here. And then we have problems with DMVs in various parts of the mm. country acting crookedly and giving out CDLs without anyone ever having, having taken a test. Hold on. Is that is that true to my people? Like I said, coming at the bottom, is, is that what's going on? Holy crap. So there's people out here that shouldn't even be credentialed if you believe it. Because we're, what we're going to do on a TV channel, Truck Round channel, we're going to keep a level of skepticism. We're going to have a, a spot assault when we listen to this stuff. Some of this stuff from experience, we can say, yeah, okay, this is true. But I'll let y'all fight that out in the comments. But I do agree. Instead of you just paying us more money, you decide to keep replacing us. Right? You decide to keep replacing us over and over again. And when you keep replacing us, the people that you're getting in our in our in our absence, they don't want the job and it shows in their performance. It shows in their safety. It shows in their log violations. It shows in the videos we see of them not paying attention to the job. They're treating the job like it doesn't matter because the job is paying like it doesn't matter. I want you to do something. I want you to take your monthly pay, what you made last month, and I want you to divide it into 40 hours and see what you make an hour, right? So take 40 times, take, 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 take 40 times four, that number, take what you made for the month and divide it into that number. And it'll tell you what your hourly rate is. And you'll realize, holy crap, I'm a truck driver and I make less than the Chick-fil-A person. And he's right. The industry can fix itself. They could pay more money to the drivers and get a better quality driver. So you've been spitting out quality drivers, not paying them, and you've been getting junk. And it's proving in the crash rate, the late rate, and the violation rate. If you're new to Trucker Brown, I suggest you sub. Because we're going to get into the dirty bone ruin. We're going to get into the ruin of the problem.